Hey guys, no, so I know a lot of you have been having a bit of issues with iOS 8. Well, Apple just released some fixes, okay? So the way to update it, okay? And this time we won't need iTunes. I know I've done it right since before. I'm gonna teach you right now, just straight up, how to do it from your phone, okay? So, first of all, go into settings, okay? So that's this icon right here. Now, in settings, we're gonna scroll down, okay? Um, you probably won't get this message, so I'm just gonna cancel that for now. Uh, I'm gonna scroll down so I see general in general tap on that you're gonna see software update second option okay, I'm just gonna cancel that again it won't ask you for your <laughs> Yahoo uh, account uh, that's just a mistake I have right now with my email anyways guys here's iOS 8.0.2 this will fix some things okay so all you have to do is press on download and install so I'm gonna do that be sure to be connected to a Wi-Fi network at this time. You will get this message, okay? So make sure to agree on it, then agree again. Okay, and it's gonna start doing it. Um, I always do suggest that you guys, um, whenever you do an update, do it through iTunes, not straight from your phone. However, this update's so small that I don't think it'll be a big deal. Uh, one of the reasons that I personally recommend doing it through iTunes um, is because afterwards you can jailbreak it. So um, you still can jailbreak it if you do it like this, so get through your phone. Yeah, but um, there are some glitches that happen uh, once you do an update like this and then you jailbreak it. There are glitches that happen, okay? Not all the time, but they do happen very often. So it's always better to do it to iTunes. Uh, remember, iTunes is uh, totally free for both Windows and Mac, so you can download it. Or if you want to do it just like me on your phone easy, it'll take you a couple minutes You can see I'm gonna talk my way through the um, whole update um, I won't show you the whole process because it might take a little bit longer than thought, but anyways um, Other than that guys your phone can Go to sleep mode, so don't worry about it right now. It just went black screen like you saw It's okay if that happens your iPhone will keep doing its update, okay? Um, just make sure you have enough battery. Right now I have 39%, eh, that's good enough for this update. If you're doing the huge update from iOS 7 to 8, you will need a full battery. It's not that good, it's gonna run through your whole battery 100%, but it's better to keep that at around 190-ish percent, okay? Just so you guys are comfortable and nothing will happen, okay? Um, if your iPhone does shut down in the middle of the process, mistakes happen, errors happen. You don't want that to happen with your phone, okay? So, after you do this update, there should be some bug fixes that you guys are gonna be very happy with. Um, of course, Apple, even with iOS 7, as we saw when it first came out, there were a lot of errors with it. And um, yeah, a lot of people have been having a lot of issues with iOS 8. However, this is one of those fixes that will fix your stuff just like in iOS 7. I mean, it's not a big thing. Um, we've always seen Apple kind of screw up with these things. They always release it a little bit too early, but that's okay. I mean, it works. I've had a lot of... Um, I've been lucky pretty much with all their updates. I haven't had issues with them. But I've had had to fix um, a couple friends' iPhones and other people's iPhones uh, online. Uh, you can ask me any questions, and I'll I'll follow you through, and I'll make a video, even tutorials, just how to fix your own phone. If you guys are still having issues after this update. But anyways, once again, if you guys have any questions, comments, you can leave them right here below. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Remember, after this is done, the update, um, you will see a little bit further on my video. Um, you just have to click on accept and that's it it's a really basic update so that's it for now and we're just gonna wait a second till this is done okay guys so like I said you will need your 100% at least 50 um, so you might get this message at that time just hook up your phone okay all you have to do is hook it up to electricity and then you can just put close okay and you can put install now Okay, and it's gonna verify update. Kind of the same thing that you did with iOS 8. Once again, if you're doing this for the first time, you can watch my other video, which is a little bit more detailed on just iOS 8. Um, it's pretty much the same thing, iOS 8 and 8.0.2. Okay, 8.0.2 just comes with a little bit of uh, extra fixes. Um, but I do suggest just watching the video on iOS 8 if um, you guys haven't watched that yet. Anyways, guys, um, 
that's it for now. Uh, at this moment, your phone should shut off, reset. You'll see the Apple logo. You'll see a line through um, that a loading bar on it that's installing, and then afterwards it'll just start up again and doing the whole thing. That's pretty easy. May me may ask you for your iCloud account again. Probably not. That's about it for this video guys. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can leave them here below and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.